Hi there, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to quickly show you this fella, which is actually blending into the background. This is the Out In Nano Espresso machine. Actually, as far as the colour goes, in hindsight, I maybe should have got a different coloured one. They do do a range of colours. Uh, considering that most of my hobbies involve cycling, fishing, shooting, when I'm making an espresso coffee out in the field, this is going to be quite easy to lose. So if you have that concern, go for a different colour of this. So this was sent to me by Outin. It was actually sent a while ago and I've got to apologise because I didn't review it quickly after receiving it. I never review things quickly after I receive them. Even though I sometimes promise to, and I do apologise for that. I like to use things genuinely, and I only take things for review that I will genuinely use. So I've used this many, many times over the last couple of months. Every time, it's worked perfectly to express a little shot of coffee. As you can see, it's entirely cableless in that it doesn't need to be plugged in to work. It's got an internal battery in here which is charged using an ordinary USB-C cable. I think you need a 3 amp supply or above. That's not a problem for most decent sized battery packs though, so you can chuck one of those in your backpack, keep this lad charged up. If you put 50 milliliters of water in here to express your coffee, you'll get five or up to five expressions or coffees from one charge and if you put 80 milliliters of water in here you'll only get up to three however it does charge up pretty quickly so looking at the top still got some water in there <laughs> you can tell I've been using it uh, so that's the top it's got little gradients um, on the inside they're pretty hard to see ah there we go you might just be able to see there. It's got 50, 80, and then max. So you put the appropriate amount of water in there. Put the top on. That's your little cup where the coffee gets expressed to. That comes off the bottom. That unscrews. Your coffee pod goes in here. Gets put back to there. You screw this thing in tight, and as you screw it in tight, you'll be able to hear it piercing part of the pod. Then you put your cup on the bottom, stand it up somewhere solid and more or less level. Press the button on the front for two seconds, and sit back and wait. And in approximately three minutes, it'll drain the water through the machine, heat it up, force it through the coffee pod, and express it down here for you to drink. These are the little pods that I'm using. I got these on Amazon. They're just some generic thing. I can't even remember who makes them. But I think they do five different flavours which are colour coded. They don't unfortunately have the name of them written on so I couldn't tell you what specific type it's going to express. But that's what we're going to use. That is going to go in first. So the cup comes off. That gets unscrewed. Our pod goes in there and then it's pressed down. That means that the back end of it gets pierced by little spikes on the inside. That goes back on. I can actually smell coffee now as well. It smells nice. That gets screwed on nice and tight like so. Cup goes back on the bottom. We put approximately 50 milliliters of water in. Clean water. Oh, I may have overdone that a little bit. Doesn't matter. Just means we'll get a little bit more coffee out. Cap goes on. Button gets pressed for two seconds. One, two. Machine beeps. Sit back and wait. Obviously I'm not going to subject you to the full three minutes of waiting because nothing really happens other than these lights going backwards and forwards and lighting up one, two, three and then four when it's almost done. I will however cut back when it starts to express the coffee 
from the pod because it will make a noise. You will hear the pod get punctured and hopefully you'll be able to see the coffee coming out here. Maybe, maybe not because this cup does have a bit of a opaque colour to it. Smells nice. And there we have it. Job's done. There you go. All done. Take that off carefully, because this is red hot. That's what we're left with. Very strong coffee. Keeps you going. <laughs> Especially when you've got gardening to do. This bed behind me needs potatoes planting in it. So I've got some digging to do. To be fair, I've already dug it over. I did that the other day when I took the garlic out, but I need to dig the trenches for the potatoes. And this will help immeasurably, <laughs> especially after a hard day of looking at a blooming computer screen, because that's spirit crushing. This restores the spirit. Mm. I almost forgot to mention as well, the part that goes inside of here there is actually a different part uh, actually there you go see the pod being punctured that's where it's expressed through and drops out there but there's a different part inside the box that this comes in as well as like a little cup thing which you use to tamp down loose coffee so you don't have to use pods you can use loose coffee I only ever use this with the pods um, it's a lot easier just to carry a variety of pods around with me in various backpacks or in my bike bag. Same with this fella. Just sits in a backpack alongside this and the pods. So I can just pull up anywhere and have a quick espresso or coffee. Give me that little jolt of energy or focus when I'm fishing. It just keeps me a little bit more aware, especially if it's at the end of the day and I'm tired. If I'm out on my bike, way up on the moors or something, I'm starting to get tired, I'll just have a little hit of coffee. And if I'm in the garden, it's just nice not to have to go back into the house when I'm up to the eyes in muck and get washed and cleaned before I make a hot drink, you know? It's very handy. Yeah, I have tried to clean this up, but it does still have a few marks and scrapes on because, as I said before, it has been used extensively. <laughs> Check it out in the video description and in the pinned comment. I would definitely recommend this. In fact, we sometimes use this in the house as well. You know, I don't always hog it away for my hobbies. It does get used in the house. Thanks very much for watching. Thanks again to Outin and apologies again to Outin, but I do use things quite long term before I do a review on them. First thing I do, day one, with everything that I get, it's got an internal battery, I fully charge it and then I just ignore it for a few weeks. I come back to it, switch it on and I see if it's lost any charge. This one sat for almost a month because it was at a busy time for my business. Didn't lose any battery power and then when I used it again it worked perfectly. Yeah, it's just a good, robust, just quality item. It's just nice, you know what I mean? Something like that would make an excellent present for anybody you know that's got outdoor hobbies, especially if they're a fisherman or a cyclist. Now maybe a road cyclist wouldn't carry one of these around. They tend to take those little gel packets because they try and shave off 
any grams that they can, any weight they can shave off, they'll shave off, they'll even shave their legs. I'm not one of them fellas. I don't mind carrying this in a backpack when I'm out on my mountain bike because it doesn't add that much more weight. All the details of the weight and everything I've said is in the video description and pinned comment. So if you're interested, check all that out. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you in the next video. I think I might just sneak another one before I go back to work. <laughs>